Hello everyone and welcome to this recorded Easy Design webinar that will go through the basics of Easy Design. And we're going to try and keep this webinar very short, uh, hopefully under 10 minutes, but it will get you started with Easy Design. Uh, I've already started up Easy Design and you do that by simply double clicking on the Easy Design icon on your desktop. Then this is the menu that first appears, the Startup Quick menu that gets you shortcuts to different areas of the software like your saved layouts and but you can also get access to user forums and uh, video tutorials etc. I'm gonna start with a new project so I'm gonna click on the new icon and the second menu appears automatically and this one we call project properties here you define the basic look of your scene uh, what type of ceiling or roof what type of floor you would like and what type of walls you would like as a standard. Later on you can customize and have individual floor colors or types and uh, wall colors etc. Uh, but I'm gonna start here by clicking on this button which will allow me to change the type of ceiling I have and you have a preview of different uh, type of ceilings and you can download a lot more but I'm gonna select the spotlight one and press select Underneath I have the standard height of the ceiling and I'm going to change that to 5.2 meters because I'm from Europe so we're doing uh, meters today as the unit. Then I'm going to save this setting for the ceiling as a default. The next one is called floor and here I can go in and pick a special type uh, or any type of floor. And today I'm going to do an uh, automotive repair shop, so I'm going to select industrial flooring and I'll use a concrete light floor and press select. On the bottom here we have the walls and I can either click on the colored square box and select basic color or even define further more advanced colors. Uh, but I'm going to press cancel and select underneath material. Here I can pick wallpapers, brick walls, tiling, etc. And, but I'm going to pick a light gray wallpaper and press OK. Now I'm ready to start building my layout. And I'm using a mouse with a scroll wheel. That's going to help you a lot later on. But uh, all you need to learn are basically found in these seven tabs up to your left. That goes from walls all the way to my objects. And I'm going to show you a few ones today. Uh, I'm going to click on walls and I'm going to start by creating a rectangular wall and I want it to be exterior wall so it's going to be a little bit thicker than the interior one. Then I move my mouse into the 2D grid. You have a ruler on the top, a ruler on the left. You also have digital measurements on the bottom of your screen. So I find a zero, 00 point or we go. Press down my left mouse button, keep it pressed and I move my mouse down to my right away from me and let go. And if I zoom out by using the scroll wheel you'll see the entire layout. I can even pan the layout left or right or up or down by pushing down, pressing down on my scroll wheel. The next step is to add the doors and windows and uh, those you find in the gap menu or in the gap tab and I click on the icon with a ball and a folder to open up the menu and here I have the gaps and I'm gonna select exterior windows and I'm gonna pick three times five meter windows double click and it jumps out so you double click and it will jump out into your toolbar here I'm gonna add some exterior doors and I want a garage door so I double click on it and send it out now these you don't drag out basically what you do is you click one time move your mouse into the layout, double click. And if you want to move it, you press down on it and move left or right. If you want another one, you just double click again and again. We'll add some windows on the side, just like that. Perfect. Uh, the gray icon up here is the camera and to activate it, you click on the next, the third tab, Objects and it will turn red. Now I can grab it and rotate with right mouse button while I'm moving my mouse at the same time. This is the starting point for my 3D walk. 
So if I want to go in and check what I've done so far in real-time 3D, I click the 3D button down to my left and it will generate a live 3D scene, which I'm, by pressing down on my left mouse button and moving my mouse and walking, I can navigate in different views. I can even, well, I can look from any angle, basically, by using the navigation toolbar. And this is very simple, real-time 3D. Later on, I'll show you how to render the nice 3D images. While we're in the Objects tab, this is the also the place where you add all the equipment or furniture, etc. And it's the same icon as in GAPS to open up a menu, the ball and the folder. And here I have a long list of different manufacturers that I have in my version. And if I want, for instance, to add a lift, I can open up this folder. And I'm going to pick a four-pillar lift. And I double-click on it and it jumps out. I also want a Two pillar lift is fine. And I close. Then I can drag by pressing down and moving my mouse, drag the objects out, just like this. If I wanted, I could rotate by pressing down the right mouse button and position the objects. And just like before, I can go into real time 3D scene by clicking the 3D button. And we can view in real time what we're doing here. So basically you can keep on going, you can add as many things as you want and uh, just build a complete layout from this point. Uh, I will go back into 3D and show you how you can create a 3D uh, nice attractive rendered image and all you do is you move your mouse up to this R button, the blue R button, click on it and it's going to say it's connected with rendering server and then you type in your email and also the size of your image. You can select from small to extra large and then press render. Then it's going to say rendering sent and in about 10 to 15 minutes time you'll receive a rendered image back in your email or to the email that you stated in that field. And it will include shadows, glare effects and, and just look very very nice. The next couple tabs will allow you, for instance, to add labels, so text 2D information into the 2D uh, drawing. I'll show you how to do that. Test. I can change the font size. I can remove the background. It's just a yellow background. This I can move or rotate any way I would like. Uh, you can add more cameras. You can add special measuring. I'll show you that measuring tab and here you select a name I'll call it distance 1 and then you have type you can select length or area I'm gonna select length and click OK now what I do is I double click one time in the layout and another time and it gets gives me a distance and these I can grab the nodes and move in different positions and even add a second one or a third one I can hide it and bring it back I'll do uh, area as well. Then I select the name area and type I select area too. Then I can, if I zoom out a little bit, I can double click in each corner of the layout minimum three times, that gives me triangle and here I get the total square meter. And just like with the distance I can move these nodes wherever I want. you can get any shape add as many nodes as you want for the area so, and it automatically instantly gives you the real square meter area this was a very short uh, basic uh, webinar uh, to get you started with the easy design naturally you can keep on going and uh, view the entire video tutorial that we have on our website and on YouTube uh, good luck everyone with easy design.